Three days after the Las Vegas massacre, more stories of heroism and courage are coming to light. One of those heroes, a downriver native who made a choice to head into the chaos to help people. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash talked to him about that terrifying night and what he wants to see come from the tragedy. Kyle Darren grew up on Gros Seal, but he's been living in Las Vegas for the past two years. And while he hasn't served as a firefighter and first responder for a few years now, that training never left him. My first reaction, I just want to try to help people. Sunday night, Kyle Darren was on his way to work at a hotel right on the strip when he started getting texts from friends who'd heard about an active shooter. Instead of driving away, he went straight to the scene. There, were, like, there was wounded people everywhere, and people were just scattered in every direction, uh, frantic, kind of in shock. Helping them was second nature. I got out of the car, and I honestly, I just picked the first two people that I saw walking, walking towards me, or running, actually running away, and said, you know, "Are you hurt?" They said, "Yeah, they're they're shot." So I said, "Come with me. I'm a first responder." Patched them up as best as I could, real quick, and then loaded them into my car and took them to the hospital as fast as I could. He didn't get their names, but won't forget what he saw and heard. They were hysterical. They were just, you know, get us get us out of there. I mean, they, were, they really weren't honestly saying much. They were, just, they were just crying. Kyle said he wanted to go back to the scene to help more people, but by then there were reports there were other shooters heading north to other hotels. So he went to be with his team at his hotel, where a few of the wounded had gathered for safety. They were all on lockdown. A lot of mental and emotional trauma as you can imagine, so we, we did our best to care for them. And that caring spirit never faded. Right after his shift, Kyle and his fiance went to volunteer at a blood center where they also donated blood. The line just to sign up was hours long. Everybody was, was very eager to help each other. Kyle later found out he knows four people who were shot, but they're all okay and out of the hospital. He says what's most important is remembering all the victims and also the power of what can happen when we all come together. Something that we need to remember and hopefully be more proactive in, in, in being together as a community and not waiting for something like this to happen. Kyle says he's grateful to his family and friends for checking on him and for donating blood in honor of the Las Vegas victims. I'm Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. All right, good job, Kyle. Yeah, special people run into the face of tragedy, so we're thankful for them, really. Absolutely.